How do you pass the message when you commit your code? That is, when you commit your code to the repository. This question might seem basic, but it's fundamental, especially if you're aspiring to be a DevOps engineer. It's often used as a warm-up question in interviews. The answer lies in using the hyphen M flag with your git commit command. The syntax looks like this. Git commit hyphen M and then your message. When you use this command, your commit message is included, making it clear what changes were made. For example, if your message is added dark mode feature, it will appear like this in your GitHub repository. Here, you can see the commit message alongside the commit itself, making it easy to understand what changes were made without diving into the code. Now you might wonder, can I commit without a message? Technically, yes, you can commit without passing a message, but this is not recommended. If you commit without a message, it will appear blank in your commit history, like this. This can cause confusion in the future. When you look back at your commit history, a blank message doesn't tell you anything about what changes were made. You'll have to review the code itself to understand the context of that commit. So good commit messages are essential for maintaining clear project history. They help you and your team understand the purpose of each change, making code reviews and future maintenance much easier. In summary, always include a meaningful commit message. It's a best practice that keeps your project organized and your team informed. So. How do you answer this question in an interview? Here's a concise response. When committing code to a Git repository, I use the hyphen M flag to include a commit message. This message provides a summary of the changes made, which is crucial for maintaining clear project history and facilitating easier code reviews. Simple, right? By following this practice, you ensure that your commit history remains informative and useful. Want to nail your next DevOps interview? Enroll in our DevOps interview preparation course now. Hit the link below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments.